Hello everyone, this is David Ockerson and uh, this is the next episode of me revisiting my old albums. Only thing is, in this video I won't be revisiting an album. Uh, when I was about to do the next episode, um, I, uh, I came to think about how long time it was between the albums, so this episode will be about the gap. Um, and between 2009 and 2015 I really didn't record any albums at all. Uh, there were a lot of other stuff going on instead. Important stuff. I met and married the love of my life. We bought a house. We had a kid. We had another kid. I started to work full time as a voice teacher. And as of today, I've worked at this school for 11 years. And I've had tons of great students that I'm really, really proud of. During this period of turning into an adult, I also realized that you needed money, a lot of it. Uh, so I started to do what I sometimes refer to as musical prostitution, which means basically playing and singing anything just as long as I got paid. And in this video I will show you some of the stuff that I did during those years and there will be everything from classical music to what we in Sweden call dansband. But don't worry, there will be some metal too. First off, I started to do troubadour gigs together with my partner in crime, Hermann Saming, from the amazing band ACT. Uh, we've done about 50 gigs together and he is one of my longest musical companions. Well, I have run. played in a duo named Duo V together with my friend Roy. Uh, we've done almost 90 shows together uh, but, and this is the truth, uh, we've never ended up on film together. Uh, we play a lot of private parties and dance events. I also did some uh, tenor soloist jobs including a lot of stuff in churches, singing mostly classical stuff. So I did some Mozart. Sacriola. Thank you. 
lot of other stuff too. Um, and then later on, me and Herman started a cover band, Techbandet, which is a pun in Swedish for the cover band. Uh, we played at a lot of weddings and private parties, and we always have a great time together. Also sang at or sing at a lot of weddings and <laughs> this gives you experience because when you do this kind of wedding singer gig uh, you need to accept whatever uh, the the couple who are getting married wants to hear and I've sung almost every possible kind of music on, on weddings I even played at a wedding during uh, Sweden Rock Festival. Alla kompisar är redan här, de har varit här i 14-15 år. Släkten och vännerna är inbjudna och de kommer hit bara för idag. But I also really enjoy when I get to show off my opera chops. Enjoy doing a show called Musical Parlo uh, together with my friends Sara and Andreas. It's a kind of greatest hits from the musical world. And uh, we've done this uh, show a couple of times uh, throughout the years, uh, trying to keep the set list updated. Uh, and I, I would really, really love to do it more often. Almost every Christmas I end up in a church somewhere uh, doing some solo stuff. Uh, and here's a short clip from a really nice song that I haven't heard or seen anywhere else. Uh, the conductor of the choir found it in South Africa. It was handwritten and only performed once. Uh, and uh, she got uh, a photocopy of it and brought it back to Sweden. And I had I had the amazing honor of singing this song.
what about metal? Well, uh, metal really doesn't pay your bills. So there wasn't a lot of uh, time left for metal music during this period. Uh, I applied to a couple of bands uh, and I, in some cases I, I even uh, got hired, but there wasn't really uh, time to really dedicate myself to these bands, so I just let it be and uh, left before things went bad. Uh, but then when a friend uh, uh, from the Academy of Music sadly passed away way too early, me and my friend uh, Linus Abrahamsson uh, decided to honor him during a memorial show uh, playing a song by his favorite band Iron Maiden. We had so much fun, so we decided to keep going and uh, me and Linus uh, formed Metal Station, a metal cover band uh, playing all the stuff we loved when we were 15 <laughs> and all the stuff we weren't allowed to play at the Academy of Music. One of the bands that I applied to and uh, didn't get the job at first was a band from Gothenburg called Celestial Decay. Uh, when they later on uh, had a release party for their album Quantum X, uh, the amazing singer Andy Kravlicza wasn't able to do the performance, so I filled in. some other shows uh, with the band and uh, there was a tour coming up but uh, sadly because uh, of uh, outside <laughs> uh, problems uh, we weren't uh, uh, it wasn't really possible to to do it uh, but in a way uh, me singing on the release party with Celestial K was crucial for getting my career going later on, but I'll, I'll get to that in uh, another video. <sighs> so uh, well, this was a trip down Nostalgia Lane. Um, I've always said that as a singer uh, you should not limit yourself to a certain genre. Uh, everything you do makes you a better singer and widens your musical horizons. So I'm really happy that I've done hundreds and hundreds of cover band and troubadour gigs throughout the years. Uh, it's a great school and a way to really prepare yourself and learn how to keep your voice in place for three hours of singing uh, and not ruining your voice. Uh, it takes a lot of practice and a lot of hard work. And like I've said, I'm really proud of all the stuff that I've done, and I'm not the least ashamed of anything. And nor should you be if you do this kind of work. 
I still do cover gigs and I sing at weddings and I sing in churches uh, but I've learned to say no now and then and not jump to every occasion uh, and I've instead started to focus on the kind of music that I would like to do for myself. I will finish this video off with a really proud moment. Uh, I attended a reunion at my old school, uh, music school, and uh, I held a pretty long speech about lessons I've learned in life and the truths that needed telling. Uh, and I also ended, it, ended the speech with uh, singing the song Good Riddance by Green Day. Uh, and I achieved standing ovations from teachers, colleagues, students, both past and present, and friends that attended that moment or that reunion show. Uh, and in a way I was closing a circle in my life and uh, uh, when people started to cheer, it was bigger than any other cheering at a show that I've ever ever experienced so I was almost moved to tears so I will leave you with this short clip in the end thank you for watching see you out there and next up in the series of revisiting albums uh, we will visit the Vivaldi metal project see ya it's something unpredictable but in the end it's right, I hold you at a time of your life.